Today, and only today, you'll be able to witness my Project Diablo 2 Season 7 start, which I consider to be the most luckiest start ever so far. In addition, you will hear me singing Depeche Mode, see what happens if you kiss RNG in the lips, and learn what awesome item I have corrupted with plus one to all skills. Welcome in, it's Quad. As usually, the playthrough was pretty nice on a Paladin, and I also found some really nice item over here from Mephisto, Tarnhelm. Only 26% to EMF though. Bail was also not a problem. I started solo, so it was a little bit slower, like under 3 hours normal, but still I consider it pretty nice for me. We found also really good Paladin amulet with skills and resistances. This is really good at the start of Nightmare. And Dario didn't drop us much except this rare ring, which I will showcase in a second. There it is, 10 FCR, Lightning Res, NMF. I've been using this one until very, very late in the game. And here it is, my secret plan to make a new weapon for my Holy Bolt Paladin. We got the scepter, we put there two sockets with Larzuk and the two runes. Tau and Tear. So this is Neophyte with fast castrate and thanks to the things we have free to Holy Bolt. And all I ever wanted, all I ever needed is here in my arms. The Nightmare Health Forge was not so bad, actually dropped us a core rune, which is always useful to make your harmony bow for the mercenary from Act 1. Nightmare Diablo was absolutely perfect with that silky smooth lightning and really nice fire. The 60 FPS upgrade is so good. But let's see if he dropped us anything. Well, no purse, nothing. I crafted one of the bells to have 20 FCR, again to help a little bit with the playthrough and some power. Nightmare Bell dropped us one good item, that was this light belt that I upgraded of course to shark skin, which gives 75 to life and dual res, pretty nice. I was pretty happy with my results, I managed to beat Nightmare in under 6 hours solo with a Holy Bolt Paladin, which is pretty good to my opinion. Then I started leveling, because I finished it with level 48 or so, I did a little bit of the Pindo runs, a little bit of the Trivinko runs, on Nightmare of course, got this amazing free socketed Paladin skill shield, which is really good, the Cold Wrap of course. Here we have also Larzuk's puzzle piece from the Eldritch. I believe I used it on one of the items and got one socket. And surprisingly, here from Pindo on Nightmare, which I leveled until I think 53, we get the unique Wormhide boots, which are Merman's Procket. Wow, I really didn't know you can drop them that early. Trangu's jawbone is a part of the material for the Rathma and Again, I kind of thought they're rare, you know, and finding one in a pit when you are just leveling is kind of not so easy. 20 to life for Cold Rest Charm, which is nice as you can see I'm half empty. Making the Spirit, rolled pretty good, 34 fast of cast rate, so I was pretty much hitting 125 FCR, I believe. And for the mercenary from Act 4, of course, I wanted to make the Insight, which rolled level 15 Meditation Aura, which is very good for him, and also lots of FCR, since he's a caster, will be helpful. The Boots. Ooh, the Boots. 30 faster run walk and dual rest with some dexterity. This is really, really good early on. Here we have Rainbow Facet from the Pit which is 4-4 four, four Fire Facet. Nice charm, Fire Res and free MF, really good. And here it is, just watch it. A Zod Rune, wow. Leveling, <laughs> leveling in hell just before playthrough the game completely, wow. I could not expect anything like this. As I already mentioned, I was leveling in the hell pit just, you know, to get a little bit higher levels, maybe like 75, 80. Found also this guardian angel. And now the wow number 2, only 20 minutes later. Bear rune. Can you believe it? I don't know, this is crazy. I have not seen anything like this before 
and I don't think I will see see it again. <laughs> Grand Charm, unique one. I'm happy I found one. Just gets fortune, 28 mf. Wow. And if it's a first way, then you are done the fastest way. And you can also find Mal Rune on your playthrough, for example. If you are kissing Jesus in the lips, then you find the Mal Rune on your playthrough. <laughs> this is also a pretty nice find early on. From the Hell CS, I found Griswold's Heart, which rolled two skills and three sockets, which is really nice early on for my Paladin. And this way also, that was the end of a playthrough, we beat Bale, and he dropped absolutely nothing, what a surprise, hell Bale, doesn't drop anything, woohoo. This circuit is really nice, one pally, 20, faster and walk, life and fire res, I actually use it still now, which is crazy. Also, Diablo dropped us mage feasts, again I was leveling a little bit, hoping for some runes, and maybe uh, the prime evil soul. We also found quite a few nice magic amulets, like this one, 3 to summoning skills and 75 to life. There is my perfect base for infinity, which I'm already waiting to make I don't know how long. The base is there, just need another bear rune. Cryptic Axe, Ethereal and 4 sockets. And here is another one, look at this. Ooh, Winghelm. Ooh, lacquer plate. Okay, finally a drop to show for. It's gonna roll now like 60%. 51! <laughs> Come on, dude. 51%? Why? And G face. And G face is good always. If I slam it and I get something GG's, then we can be rich. We can be rich. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is so stupid. This is all stupid. It rolled plus one all skills corruption. <laughs> Why? And another good small charm. Poison res plus eight and six MF. Again, finding those is super nice. Lord Disease dropping unique Grim Shield. Obviously, plus one to all skills only. I think I used up all my luck already. There is another really nice amulet, 3 to passive and magic skills and 64 to life based on character level, which is, again, pretty decent. The unique ring of Triwinkle in hell, what could it be? And spoiler alert, I actually found SOJ from here as well before. It's a Nagel ring, 39%, wow, very good. And lastly, one more mid rune, which is another Mao rune. Alright, that was my season start, after that I expect to holy freeze ice cream paladin and started running cows to get my second bear for infinity. Hope you liked it and hope your season goes well, bye!